Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, Daria's Diaries uh, channel. My name is Daria and uh, today I will be talking about um, parenting um, with a uh, mental health illness. Um, why am I talking about this? Um, well, uh, I grew up uh, with a mother um, that, um, so just as a disclaimer, neither me uh, nor my mother, um, nor like my anyone in my family that, that I know as a, that I know of, um, has been uh, officially diagnosed with a mental illness. Uh, that being said, um, no one in my family um, has really um, attended um, a uh, psychiatrist. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why um, I don't know. I'm laughing, <laughs> it's, uh, but. Um, I guess because my whole family belongs in a lunatic asylum. Um, um, that was possibly a bad joke, forgive me. Um, but anyway, um, I grew up with a mother that, although not officially diagnosed, uh, was um, uh, definitely de depressed and um, I have started to believe uh, because now as an adult I'm kind of rewinding what I witnessed in her growing up um, um, I think that she may have uh, some sort of bipolar disorder or something I have read that bipolar is caused by um, or like uh, is correlated also with childhood trauma now my mom's mother uh, my mom's father was an alcoholic he had also gone through Second World War uh, and there was uh, war trauma uh, in the family significant war trauma um, I would actually be surprised if um, my mom um, had um, come out of that completely unaffected um, but anyway um, I never met uh, my grandfather because he passed away um, of cancer way before I was born um, but I grew up with a mother that definitely had uh, some sort of health illness or the way I perceived this was that depression, the feeling of hopelessness uh, growing up and um, the feeling where my mother was not able to give me emotional support and uh, just that emotional nourishment. So she did everything in terms of like serving me, like she would cook me up amazing healthy food, uh, she would provide for my education, make sure that I was like taken care of, like clean clothes, everything on time, went to a good school, all of that. But uh, emotionally, it was like a void and um, I completely had to just take care of myself emotionally and I actually had to take care of my mother uh, emotionally because she was the one suffering from depression. My mother also uh, tended to have these kind of, pa what I see now as an adult as paranoid, like feelings or uh, about other people or thoughts that she would share with me. And at the time it just seemed like, wow, there's just a lot of bad negative people out there but now I realize it must have come somehow from her mental state where like being paranoid and uh, kind of feeling like other people have uh, worse in her worst uh, interests at heart or whatever like that may be well anyway um now I'm a mother myself I'm a mother of a seven month old uh, going on eight months my beautiful uh son Zen that I share with my uh wonderful husband Michael um um, and now I am dealing for the past pretty much since my child was born increasingly with mental illness myself um, and uh, what I'm realizing is that I am displaying the same symptoms that my mother displayed towards me I'm displaying them towards my family towards my son uh, and it, and I, I, what I'm realizing is because for the longest time I felt like a victim of my mom uh, because she did not provide me this emotional nourishment in fact I feel like she sucked out my emotions and my emotional strength out of me but I'm actually doing the same thing or a very similar thing to my family and to my child it takes a very uh, it takes such um, 
so much conscience to even begin to realize that uh changing that is a whole other thing you know like changing this behavior changing my emotion that's a whole other level it feels so unaccomplishable or so difficult to me but even just realizing that i am doing something toxic to my family to my son even that like i'm slowly now seven months into my son's uh, life slowly starting to become aware of that um and pretty much um i can feel like you know i think that my mom you know she loves me and she loved me as a child in her own way but she just was not able to be present with me emotionally and it breaks my heart because i am uh, the same way uh in certain like in certain ways with my son now as you know i am also into astrology and i was just reading last night and i found out that my son's um the, it's a comet i believe a planet or like a comet uh, it's called uh Hiron or Hiron, and it's a uh, it signifies uh, where we're the, our biggest wound where we're the most wounded and so what i found out is that uh, my son's um, Hi Hiron is in uh, the fourth house and that signifies that the biggest wound comes from childhood from parenting from nourishment um, and um, and um, I mean this just really just uh, really you know broke me uh, like emotionally really really upset me also his Tyron is an Aries um, and um, that kind of can stand for like growing up with a parent that is either defensive or maybe like where anger is not being properly um, like maybe not allowed maybe like expressing anger is not allowed or maybe uh, when uh the child confronts one of the parents the parent becomes really defensive or angry or something like that and that's what my my son has in his uh natal chart and although um i understand that natal chart those are things that you know it's not like set in stone those are red flags to watch out for or or good green flags that will help us all along you know it definitely broke my heart realizing that um you know my child may end up sustaining some of his deepest wounds from his childhood you know um as a mom you know it's it's, it's not easy to 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 become aware of that uh it did say chiron can also in the fourth house can also stand for like unstable childhood like where say parents would move from place to place or would be like living in some unstable environment like crashing on you know like say on a family's or friend's couch like couch surfing pretty much as it said and i just realized that's actually exactly what me and my husband are trying to do and you know we're trying to like you know move out of uh because right now we don't live in our own place we live with parents in law with my parents in law right so with fam we live with family we're trying to move out we're trying to like rent and possibly to move abroad as i said right in uh, to czech republic but that we're thinking will probably uh uh like we have decided that we will probably not do that uh but that that's like a, a topic for another video sort of like our our plans or you know because things like change so fast and i get so emotional so uh, i don't want to waste too much time on that now but pretty much this sort of couch surfing unstable living environment is exactly what our child is going through and we have already traveled so much with him he was born in czech republic we moved to california then uh you know before the pandemic started we went to east asia to taiwan to you know and then we came back to california and it's just been really like i and the thing is and also like this uh chiron in the fourth in areas which uh, can signify some sort of anger like a wound from anger or like a parent who may be possibly angry i guess or self-defensive um because it did say also this has more to do with mother like i can actually see like i have been in from my previous year videos you may have even or you may remember me talking about how i can get sort of like with, like with my family like somehow like toxic or or lash out or something like that and the thing is when i do this when this happens when i have these episodes like i don't even think about my child i i'm just thinking about myself and i'm thinking about how much pain i'm in and i am in a lot of emotional pain during those times but i don't even think about my child um and i feel like even like you know now for example we're like the situation with us um like uh moving like where are we going to live how are we going to have our own place like that's very uncertain right now and that's causing me a lot of pain a lot of trauma and and again like um i am you know 
I am like my own like it's causing me so much trauma like not tra well it's causing me a lot of pain and emotional suffering and then you know I'm like in you know stuck in that and then I end up not being able to properly uh, fully take care and nourish especially emotionally but also in terms of like having a set schedule you know for my son um, and um, just to provide him with stability and um, you know um, that he um, that he that he deserves uh, um, yeah um, I, I, I don't know you know as I said um, whether um, um, I have um, you know I, I am I'm prone to I don't want to hide behind labels, you know, uh, because then I will, you know, I don't want to be like, okay, I have this and this is an excuse for me to be like that, like, you know, but um, that being said, some sort of bipolar, or some sort of mental, mental illness is uh, most likely what I'm dealing with because it's either that or I'm just a bad person and that's how I feel, you know, when I have these episodes, I, you know, that's how I feel like, oh, like, a, or I start having this paranoia, like, oh my goodness, like I'm a demon or a bad person or whatever. I have to ha find also some sort of forgiveness towards myself um, but I also need to have the strength to actually heal through all this crap all this pain that I continue feeling inside um, you know I um, it's so hard um, you know to all of you moms and dads who are going through any sort of mental struggles um, as parents especially as new parents um, whether you have like a uh, postnatal um, depression or or bipolar or um, like any sort of condition, um, um, it's um, you know I feel you, and I think you know it's interesting because in my mind, like I know that I want to provide. Um, the best possible uh, emotional nourishment uh, for my son and in fact I have myself uh, like in astrology I have myself Chiron in Cancer which means that I myself have sustained some like wounds in from some, some major wounds come from family and from childhood so for me like uh, a lot of wounds around family and for my son a lot of wounds around family so it's like uh, kind of like repeats itself that sort of trauma and I don't want my son to go through that and I'm trying to like um, like I hug him and I'm really like physical like hug him hold him a lot stuff like that but then I'm failing in other ways like I'm failing to provide him with uh, what would be like a set schedule and more of a time where I dedicate to say reading with him or like playing with him more or even just him having a more of a space because where we live there's like a lot of clutter and there's just a lot of furniture and it's hard to even set up more of a decent PlayStation for him. Oh. I'm sorry. Um. It's funny because, um, I mean, I do love astrology because it really does help me. Um, it helps me um, ground somewhat, you know, because I do tend to, um, like, a lot of things, even, like, small things can really, uh, can really um, kind of, like, affect me and throw me off balance. Like, if I'm in a very balanced environment and if everything's going great, um, then I'm feeling great. I'm a star, you know. I'm, um, you know, but um, once something, like, happens, someone says something or someone, something triggers me, something small, I really, it really messes with me and it really just completely throws me off. And um, because I'm responsible for a child, it, um, it's throwing off that child's well-being. Um, so what symptoms do I have? I mean, uh, pretty much anything uh, like... Um, like feeling depressed and hopeless and on and off, you know, not all the time. I also feel really happy and elated and hopeful and hopeless. Something happens, it throws me off and then I feel fine again and really happy about doing certain things, you know, my like whatever I love doing. Um, 
feeling paranoid like feelings of paranoia i've experienced that like literally like believing that you know someone is a demon or someone is out there to get me including people in my family um uh, i'm becoming aware of that um um and uh, I think in regards to my son, I actually like having this feeling where like I'm emotionally not fully present there for him. And in terms of my time, I'm not fully present there for him because I'm so preoccupied with my lack of well-being, with uh, myself feeling as a victim of circumstance. Uh, living uh you know where you know in an, uh, like an environment where i don't want to live you know uh or um whatever things may not be going my way you know um and this ironically this is exactly why i feel pissed or you know upset at my mom still as an adult is that my mother i think the biggest wound for me there was that my mother was so preoccupied emotionally with her own stuff within herself that she was never able to open up and be available for me emotionally and it's exactly the same thing for me i'm so preoccupied within my own emotions and my own stuff emotional suffering i'm not able to open up to my son to, to my son emotionally and to be available to my son emotionally and in terms of time as well and my mother she would cover it up with making sure i get a great educate great education making sure that every like I, I got good healthy meals i had a, a a tight like schedule you know everything was scheduled so like in that case she ran the house like literally like so strict and you know and that was helpful though you know for a child to for me um I uh, I cover up for my myself not being able to be available to my son uh, by being extra like physical with him, like hugging him, hold him, holding him. I'm a breastfeeding mother, so I I uh, I'm still breastfeeding at seven months, going on eight months. Um, pr proud of that. So that's that's a great thing. So you know, I express love in the, in the language that I know to express, just like my mother expressed love in the language that she knew to. But um, it, you know how what I'm what I'm failing to see though unless I really make sure to think about it you know now like I'm actually consciously kind of like working through it uh, it's um, how is my emotional suffering and how is my emotional um, illness my mental my mental health illness uh, what I'm going through how is my mental health affecting my child um, what I've noticed is that um, that was a recent a recent one my husband told me something um, and um, I um, overreacted so he told me uh, um, like um, I, I'm not going to go into detail here uh, because I don't want to portray my husband as like uh, some like you know in a negative light or anything but it was something minor that did you know that did bother me you know a little bit but I kind of like overreacted and I really started lashing out at him for that um, even though I do think he probably should have not said that or it was not the best time to tell me that like a little bit of criticism that he said but that being said like I feel so much emotional pressure within that when he said that it just added on top of like mountains and layers and layers of stuff I already feel inside and so I started like lashing out at him and being really defensive and and uh, then like the atmosphere kind of heated up between us and I remember our seven month old child son he was playing and then he kind of looked up at me and kind of looked up at us and just kind of like looking confused and like and it's you know because right now our son doesn't speak yet and so it's really hard to know like what is it that he's thinking and feeling and i know i mean according to research and i know that children soak everything up especially within the first couple of years and months and years I, I absolutely know that it's easy to know with your brain but really to be able to align yourself with that and actually act as to not to you know injure my child emotionally and to provide for my child the stability that he deserves that's another that's another thing um you know, for me, I think, uh, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's another thing. Um, so definitely, you know, our child is already soaking up, of course, any sort of, you know, like I try not to cry in front of him, like I was smiling at him today, but inside I feel so much stuff. And so I turn around and so I smile at him, but like I actually like in my eyes, I don't know, like if he can feel it, he probably can, like that I actually don't feel good, you know, and um, I feel caged and I feel like, you know, like I want to like move out, but it's also like some sort of emotional stuff going on, you know, because it's not fully going to be resolved with moving, you know, like getting my way is not necessarily what's going to resolve all my mental suffering, you know. 
Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I would like now to discuss how am I getting help. I mean, I, I hope that me sharing this publicly uh, will... Um, I think having some sort of transparency it helps me get some sort of transparency for what I'm going through um, you know because getting cooped cooping up all my emotions as a first-time mother um, uh, in, in a quarantine where I don't really obviously talk to too many people at all um, that's toxic that's not going to help at all so uh, sharing this publicly um, um, with all of you um, that's actually one of my methods of um, getting uh, getting help, you know, just kind of take putting it out there because I'm sure I'm not the only one feeling this way. I'm sure I'm not the only mom for, or first time parent dealing with mental uh, with mental health issues. Um, I know that there's a lot of, uh, you know, moms and parents, dads uh, suffering through, through mental health conditions and, and being tortured, emotionally tortured and yet having to still take care of the child, right? Because you have to take care of them to the best of your abilities. Um, also, um, I um, have been writing poems. I've mentioned that already several times. Um, and once I have, um, once I feel like I have compiled like a, a you know, a, a group of poems or a cycle of poems and I feel like they're, you know, I've, uh, I have edited them uh, reasonably well, then I will start sharing with you. Uh, but yeah, writing poems uh, also helps to kind of build off the pressure. Um, yeah, I mean... I try not to necessarily discuss this. I mean, of course, my husband knows what I'm going through, but I don't want him. He's a life coach, but I don't want him to be in that codependent relationship where he is coaching me. That's not going to be healthy at all. So I don't want that. Um, I also do get, though, uh, counseling, not nearly as often as maybe I... Well, I mean, you know, I, I have this wonderful uh, psychic intuitive uh, whom I've been seeing for the past six plus years, uh, me alone and also me and my husband, and she's just very helpful. Um, so I'm also getting um, sessions with her. Um, yeah, um, that's pretty much what I'm doing uh, to get help. I also do have a coloring book. I haven't done that in a while, but I do have a coloring book. I also have a sort of like, I think it's called the Worry Journal or something I got off Amazon. Haven't written in that one for a while as well. You know, um, just always feeling so busy, but those are other things that I, I do plan to do. Of course, also reading about astrology and tarot and doing some tarot cards here and there, that helps me also ground when I feel completely lost. Uh, helps me kind of like resonate with um, or kind of find like just validation and okay This is part of sort of my natal chart. This is what I need to work through This is a life lesson I need to learn that's helpful to kind of bring it into my awareness rather than just feel soak in that pain um, Yeah um, Do I have any tips out there for you parents uh, going through you know something similar like me uh, some sort of uh, you know, um, mental health, uh, just feeling emotionally tortured as a young parent or feeling like you're not doing your very best um, as a parent, um, I would say just keep fighting because I think, um, you know, on certain days, um, you know, no, especially like now that I'm becoming aware of how this is affecting my child, you know, but and I want to be able to provide him with a space that's better for him, like where he can actually have a play around with this, with emotional space where I'm more open to him emotionally and available to him emotionally with time, um, you know, where I actually devote my time, more of my time to him. Uh, I want to do all of that, but at the same time realizing I have not been doing that and also kind of like, ah, oh, it's just so hard to do all of these things when I'm preoccupied with all my inner turmoil. Like, that's tough, but just, I think, to give yourself forgiveness and then to um, to dedicate time to, I would say, to yourself, like, to do something like, whether it's like you shoot a video for your YouTube channel or you write up uh, maybe your diary or something like that just to kind of try to process that turmoil and I would say this is something I'm setting now this is not something I decided before the video but as I'm talking I'm, I decided I'm gonna set up a goal today I'm going to clean up the clutter so he can have a better uh, like playground sort of for himself here uh, within uh, you know my capabilities of you know cleaning up because the house is very cluttered so 
I can't really move out a lot of the furniture that's not necessary, but I'll kind of like clean up still and so he can like crawl better. Then I will spend uh, 20 minutes uh, playing with him. Um, and um, I will spend 20 minutes reading to him and teaching him new words. Um, so that's what I'll do. Yeah, clean up the clutter um, for my son to have like a better play area. Um, 20 minutes of reading and teaching words and uh, 20 minutes of just pure play and fun with my child. Yeah. Blessings to you all. Love to you all. Thank you for listening to Daria's Diaries.